Now, um, you're not alone. You've I'm brought not alone. this I brought, fantastic... I brought it, the uh, headgear, so... Go on. What? See, so we can bring the, ha the lights down there and get the go. full effect. You're not going to put it go. on? Oh. You should wear so... it. What's, do you describe what... It's sort of feathered, kind of like it's a feathered almost, thing. Yeah, it's almost like... Um, it's sort of based on a sort of pangolin, you know, like an armadillo type thing. And... Um, so it took a lot of uh, work and design to get it to... It can be programmed to go with the music. And, um, and it can also malfunction like it did the other day. <laughs> and did you, uh, is, wow. is one allowed to wear it? Yeah. Can, what? Do, you want to, do you want to just pop it yeah, on for I'll us? Yeah, stick that... it. Oh, yeah, sure, I could do that. Oh, I well, you can put it on Sally if you like. Yeah, I'll Are stick it on, I'll stick it on Sally. put it on Charlie? <laughs> yeah. stick it on Hang on. Who wants to wear the hat? Come on, Put Sally. it on Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Oh, it's going on me, is it? OK, it's going on you. Oh, yeah. Go on me later. On we are going back. to the races tomorrow. He same, needs a hat. We've got the same size oh. head, look. So. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at six. Look at that way. Look at that way. <laughs> ah, that's brilliant. <laughs> Angry Charlie. Oh. Can, I, Charlie. <laughs> can I control it with my emotions if I smile? Look, yeah, ready? We'll do it together. Yeah. We go. One, ready? two, three. Happy Charlie. <laughs> Angry Charlie. <laughs> 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 oh, oh silly little things. Why are you so interested in hats? Oh, I think, you know, I think there's something to hide behind as well. Like there sunglasses. There a, I think if you ever, yeah. A bit if like you ever, sunglasses. Well, actually, my little one scratched my eyeball the other day, believe it or not, messing around, you know. So, um, no, I think they've always, um, I've always worn hats. And, um, and I think on the stage, um, Particularly when they're like this, people can see you from, you know, much, much further it's away. like a beacon, really. It is like that, and this works particularly well. I mean, we did a show in London the other day, and one in Paris. And, um, and once you look back at it, I mean, it's always difficult for me to look back at, you know, what does this look like? And, uh, and it really came over really well. So, um, you so know, this really is going to be part it. of the show. So this is part of this show. She did have a light malfunction. I ended up looking like I sort of had half the Statue of Liberty on my head. <laughs> ah. So talking of gremlins, um, it but can happen, um, of it can happen. So, um, but we've kind of got it under control. There's a spare one as well. Wow. So has it, have you spent the last ten years building the hat? Is that well, where you've been? There were two guys. I mean, when I first did the album, I was going to call it Pangolin. So, um, and I wanted to highlight um, the plight of, uh, you know, horned and endangered animals, really, you know, which is, is sort of is getting to proportions that are just unsustainable. And, um, and so it was also a natural development from the old headgear and all the other stuff that I'd used, you know? Um, and so it was quite difficult to work out, you know, how to, how to do that. And so I met a German... Um, and an Italian guy, and we sat and worked it out through angles and motors. So each of these motors is almost what you get in a little drone or something. So um, oh, that's our... Uh, linked to your love of flying. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, you talk about, you know, how the headgear is evolving. Um, when I've listened to the album, it absolutely... It took me back yeah. to a wonder, wonderful, wonderful yeah. time of my youth. Yeah, um, it's mid-90s, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, mid-90s. Um, yeah. It, it's kind of... I know it's new, but it's familiar, isn't it? And yeah. the album's had fantastic reviews. It's, it's had amazing, I think, today. We found it's, like, number four in the States and stuff, which is uh, very big for us, you know? And after that amount of time... And I think trying to get the balance between what you did and, and yet moving it along as well. So trying to trigger electronic drums, you know? I mean, obviously, you're, you know, now there are people who are a lot younger than me doing it. And we've always used electronics and synthesizers, but I've got 20, 25 synths at home. So we wanted the analogue sound off those. As opposed to going on the computer, you can almost pick any 70s, 80s synthesizer now and you can twiddle about, you know, with it there. But it just doesn't quite sound the same as the analogue stuff, which has a rich warmth. And, and then we would record all the strings live, record the drums live, and then, and then take it back onto tape again. So, sort of mixing and matching, you know, between, um, between uh, the sounds. Do you know what, JK? S sitting there now, I'm mindful that you don't appear to have changed. I think <laughs> of midnight, you don't <laughs> appear to have changed. Have you led a, a very uh, clean lifestyle uh, since maybe the early days when you w went yeah, for it a I, bit more? I've, I think I've had my ups and downs, but now I've had two little ones. So, um, you know, sort of 
life is about them now. And uh, <laughs> so, actually, you know, your goal when you kind of you took a step back all those years ago, yeah. your goal was to have a family, wasn't it? That's yeah, I think want... so because I think um, you know why do it? You know, I mean, it's uh, it's um, you know you can also end up going around the world all the time, you know, without stopping, and, and on your own. <clears throat> yeah, well, with the band, you know, all of us. I mean, living out of a suitcase, and I think that's the hardest part of the job. It's not the performing, it's the, you know, relentless travelling all the time. And, um, and after a while, you know, you're not, <laughs> not that we don't love each other, but you're not talking to each other, you know, you, you eat in different places. Um, and some of the times that you're going on stage, you know, at 11 o'clock or something, you're, um, you know, you can, if you do a two-hour show, and by the time you've calmed down, it'll be like three in the morning, you know? So it's quite hard, and then up again. So it's quite hard to sort of settle yourself down into a rhythm. But you're doing live stuff again now. Yeah. Like, given yeah. that it's been a bit of a break, I mean, uh, do you get nervous? You, uh, you know, is there a bit of that as, alongside the excitement? There, there, there certainly is for these two shows. We had, uh, you know, sort of five weeks of rehearsal, and then on top of that, then there were three videos done in a very short space of time, um, and a lot of planning, and um, so it was... Um, it's quite nerve-wracking because, you know, you do think, well, I'm a little bit old now, and you think, you know, what people see there, because the, you know, industry, everything is so instant now. So, of course, as soon as people see it on the phone, it's there, you know? And so, you know, I never sort of read the write-ups, you know, good or bad, it's, just, it's almost like a defence mechanism. And, you know, the, the you way. talk about the performance. Um, no, I've, 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 I've always... It's just been part of the way I move. It's just part of the way it is. And, uh, and also, you know, because I've sat and, you know, written the music with, with Matt uh, for this one, you know, I, I feel the boogie inside the music that I'm writing, you know, so it's easy for me to yep. <laughs> do that. Feels the, the music. I think the only thing is, of course, when you're actually trying to sing and dance, I mean... I sometimes, I know you see people have got the wire thing, and I always, because I do it myself, I sit there and think, are you really doing that? Because do, are they really just the doing old, that? Yeah, are they really yeah. doing that? Or mining? Because it's really quite hard to keep that level up, you know. Um, so you old think, school, you yeah. hold a microphone. I, I'm old school, I hold the mic. And also, I don't really use in-ears. I, I like to use monitors. So, and most people use in-ears, and I, and I find it really... So that's when you can hear the music yeah, coming Yeah, exactly. Your yeah. And I find it really detaches me from, from, from the band, in a way. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Lovely to see you this morning. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks very for bringing much. the uh, the headgear in. What's it called again? Has it got a name? It's uh, it has a headgear. Headgear. <laughs> headgear. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Absolutely. Can yeah. Charlie borrow it for tomorrow? We're going to the races. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, okay. um, certainly cut a dash wearing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you, Jay. Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, and we should say, of course, that Jay's new album is called Automaton. Well done. It automaton. should be automaton, but uh, automaton. Automaton. It's, uh, yeah, automaton. Very Sounds good. a bit more auto. Lovely. Carol.